So now let's talk about some inorganic chemistry and one of the most important compounds in inorganic chemistry is limestone. Well, I never really knew how limestone looked like so I googled the picture and I thought I would share it with you guys. So the picture right here is a picture of limestone and as you can see it's surrounded by water and usually limestone is found near shallow marines. Okay. Now, limestone is used to manufacture so many things and it has so many properties and so many uses, so we're going to talk about these right now. So, limestone has the formula of calcium carbonate, okay, and calcium carbonate is a base. And since it's a base, one of the main uses of limestone is the neutralization of acidic soil and to demonstrate this let's look at this reaction right here so calcium carbonate but this is the net ionic calcium carbonate will react with the H plus ions in the soil to form carbon dioxide gas plus water so here, the carbonate ion from calcium carbonate will react with the H plus ions in the soil that, that's responsible for all the acidity to produce carbon dioxide, gas, and water. Now, that's the first use of limestone. Another thing to mention also, an excess of limestone in the soil, and I denote it by XS, does not make the soil alkaline so it does not make the soil alkaline now let's move on to another use of limestone well another use we also discussed previously in other videos is the manufacture of iron and steel we talked about the blast furnace and how we put calcium carbonate to thermally decompose into so let's write the reaction to remind ourselves so calcium carbonate will thermally decompose into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas now let's look at another use of limestone well and this one is very important limestone is used to manufacture cement and concrete and you guys are not responsible for the details of this one but I'm just gonna mention it to clarify it for you guys and help you remember it easily now cement is a mixture of clay plus limestone plus some heat added now this would generate cement now concrete is a mixture of cement plus some stone clippings plus some sand so actually concrete is generated from cement now these were the three uses of limestone but these are the direct uses so let's write it here these are the direct uses now let's look at some of the indirect uses of limestone well let's get a clear page so here let's talk about indirect uses of calcium carbonate well the first indirect use would be the generation of calcium oxide and we talked we talked about this before calcium oxide is generated let's write it one more time so calcium carbonate thermally decomposes into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas so calcium oxide is generated through the thermal decomposition 
Now also, calcium oxide is a base and it also has a uh, basic property. So therefore it's, it's used as a product to neutralize acidic soils. Now also it's used as a drying agent and drying agents are used for example in soils when the soil is soaked up in water and we need to get rid of the excess water so we put some calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is also known as lime. Okay. Now let's look at the last use which is the neutralization of industrial waste and that includes a process called for example gas desulfurication and it basically the gas desulfurication you guys are not responsible for this but as an example you're removing the sulfur dioxide as a waste gas you're just separating it so your guys are not responsible for the process but just you have to know it's just the one of the uses of lime is the neutralization of industrial waste now let's look at one of the indirect uses of limestone another one so we talked about lime now we're going to talk about slacked lime and the formula of slacked lime is calcium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide is generated through the reaction of calcium oxide in water will produce calcium hydroxide now let's look at some of the uses of calcium hydroxide well also it's used to neutralize acidic soils so all of them the three of them limestone lime and slack lime are used to treat acidic soils now it's also used as a bleaching agent also one thing to mention is that it can be used in glass manufacturing and lastly water purification so that's that for the uses of slacked lime which is calcium hydroxide now let's recap we said that limestone has some direct uses and indirect uses we looked at the direct uses and we mentioned three and then we looked at some of the indirect uses of limestone and that would be the generation of calcium oxide which is lime and the generation of slacked lime which is calcium hydroxide and we said we mentioned some of the uses of both of them so I hope this video made it clear for you guys stay tuned we're gonna talk more about the carbon cycle because it's considered one of the elements of inorganic chemistry so stay tuned and good luck